Welcome back, this is part 10, which is the final part of this series of videos. In this video, I will move on to add some materials and textures. Okay, go to shading mode and press plus to create new material. First, I'm gonna add black material on one of the frame. Press A to select all and Ctrl L to link material. Next, select the scope and go to edit mode. Select the center of the grid fill lenses. Press Ctrl plus to expand the selection of vertices. Go to material setting, press new to create another material and give a name, like lens or something. After that, click surface and select glass BSDF and press assign. Giving completely white color on lenses doesn't look natural, so I will put a little blue to them. Next, I'm going to create metallic material. Let's keep base color white. Increase metallic parameter like 0 0.9 and roughness is gonna be about 0 0.4. Again, select the object what you want to apply metallic material and Ctrl L to link. Next, let's move on to levers material. According to the reference, it looks quite plastic, so base color will be gray and roughness is gonna be one. Alright, next step. Since I'm going to use texture painting, especially stencil, I will crop the text and logo from the reference. I use Photoshop to do this, but you can use GIMP, Photop, or any software that you want to use. If you're not familiar with using photo editing software, I will upload the exact same transparent images on my blog, so feel free to download them. The link is on the description. My blog is written in Japanese, but you guys just want to use images, so I believe it's not a big deal. Okay, let's go back to Blender. Bring image editor in the viewport and create new image. Go to edit mode and press U to select Smart UV Project. Change the viewport from Object Mode to Texture Painting Mode. Go to Texture Setting and open the transparent image that I have just created. Go to Workspace Setting and change the mode from Material to Single Image. Click pull down and select the image that I created in image editor.
select texture and change mapping from tile to stencil. Sometimes the image will be distorted, so press image aspect to make the shape property. Finally, left click to do stencil. Seems the stencil is not working in a viewport, but when you look at image editor, the texture is actually put it on the image. When you finished it, save the image and add it as an image texture. Now go to shading mode and add mix shader, image texture. Well, I supposed to do stencil on new material. So press new material called frame 001 or something like that. And let's get rid of image texture and mix shader from original material. The stencil frame become darker, but it's not a big deal. Just tweak the value of base cutter. Now let's add another stencil with exact same process that I have done now. Okay, finally, let's prepare for rendering. I will add plane to model the backdrop. Go to world setting and change color to environment texture to use HDRI. Well, you can use any HDRI, but I will use Abandon Splitway from Polyheaven. Go to rendering mode and find the location where you want to set the camera. Once you have found the location, press Ctrl Alt 0 to set the camera. Don't forget to rotate the backdrop and press F12 to start rendering. So that's it. That was the whole process of how I model M4A1 rifle. Thank you very much for watching this series. I hope it was useful. If it was, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I plan to create another tutorial, so if you have any requests, feel free to comment. See you soon.